So as a young journalist yourself, do you think that you find difficulty getting uh, respect from your older colleagues? It depends. Not, I would say, not getting respect, but they are understanding some of the things that we do. So it is a generational gap. So whereas I would say the younger journalists at this particular point in time are a lot more ambitious than the ones who have gone before us. So whereas they were probably there for like 20 years and did their first overseas assignment at year 15, mm. we've come in at year two or three, we we're ready for overseas assignments. So I think that kind of passion and drive is the difference in terms of generation. But I, I would say that we get some respect. Mentorship, um, you would find some who do and then some who don't. So it, it all depends. Um. Okay, no, from your peers, no, you're your other journalists your age. How is it? Is the competition like stiff? Extremely. We are extremely competitive. Mm -hmm. um, we actually, all of us are friends, but when it comes to doing a story, friendship goes through the door because I'm trying to get a scoop right. on you and right. you're trying to get a right. scoop on me. So let's say we will all go, let's say we go to a protest. Mm -hmm. We will say, all right, fellas, we landing here this particular time or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But when it comes time now for work, you ain't seeing me, I ain't seeing you. I try to get this story. If I see this, mm -hmm. cut this and make my thing look good. So it's all about that kind of competition. And we, we kind of use that competition to make each other better. Um, so do you think traditional media will ever become obsolete? You find the older people are the ones that pick up the paper, who read the online papers right, and right. whatnot. But you find the younger people are the ones who will pay attention to your Instagram um, short posts. Um, they're not going to sit down and read a 600 word story, but they would sit down and watch a video mm. or they would take in the first two or three paragraphs. So I would like to say that traditional media... Just at me next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. So I would like to say that traditional media will not go obsolete, but I think it will take a little bit longer in Barbados and the Caribbean as opposed to the US. Are there any issues or topics that you'd like to see more coverage from in Barbados um, from journalists? There are stories in Barbados to be covered, but because of the shortfall in the newsroom, they often don't get the coverage that they deserve. And then on the other hand, um, people are often critical of newspapers because they say that we are very negative in our coverage, which, which is an interesting thing, of course, because we often have a saying that a lot of people don't like to say, but if it bleeds, it leads because people, if, let, let me put this to you. Uh -huh. If I put a scholarship winner on the front of the newspaper, would you pick it up and read it? I might not read it, no. But if I put that there is a big shooting, you can pick up and you can buy that newspaper, right? I mean, sure. That, that's all I'm saying. All right, I understand what you're saying, if it bleeds, it leads. A lot of the drama tends to sell, but like in instances like what we did in the Olympics, there was a, 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 re a journalist that uh, made an article where he was pretty much saying that a lot of the Barbadian athletes are not good enough. Mm. There is no reason to have to spend that like that. But yeah, you're the 24th best since swimmer in the world. That is not a negative. That's not a con. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of that? Looking at it, I, I would say personally, I did not agree with how it was written. Mm -hmm. But that is where my criticism stops. Because it was not a lie. It was the truth. Sorry. But it was presented in a way that was not the best one. So if you look at, if we are making a critique of it, we can, we can um, not the accuracy of the report because he did not tell a lie. But what we can argue about is the way in which it was written. So a similar article that one of my colleagues wrote was um, about another swimmer. And he said, that if she has hopes of meddling, she would have to produce a lifetime best. Which is the same thing. The same words thing. Words are important though. As a journalist, you should know it words is different are important. In that, right. is that different situation. Because that sounds completely different. Uh, yes, most definitely. And also, if you look at it, it goes back to the medium as well. Because in, a, in an article like that, if that was said on television in terms of commentating, mm -hmm. that would have just gone straight past, yeah. you know, in a fleeting moment. But because of it being online and being published. Um, yeah, but I didn't agree with the way in which it was written, yeah, but I can't dispute I can't dispute the facts, but that that's where well, that goes. Fair enough. Uh, to come off the, you know, a little murky topics, no. <laughs> uh, what publications do you read in your personal life? Um, I would say I really, really don't read a lot of publications. I am more interested in um, the infographic show. 
okay weird history those types yeah, of weird history maybe. those types <laughs> of shows online are like um what's that another one like buzzfeed mm-hmm. and college humor yeah yeah, yeah yeah those yeah, are yeah. the types of stuff that i would particularly <laughs> watch because coffee i can tell you uh-huh. when i start work at five o'clock in the morning and i stop at six seven in the evening i really don't want to be you know continuing in that news cycle so i would sit down and watch a lot of foolishness or i would sit down and watch something that's presented in a humorous way right. just to bring down my you know, my my uh my mind from just racing at that. I actually love that you mentioned that because I feel like um a lot of my international news stems from something presented in the humor and the humor fa- in a humorous Noah. fashion. Travel yeah. Nova, like Philip the Frank, because a lot of people you could go down that these people just deliver news, the same Correct. news, but the presentation is just a lot more palatable. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. So after after racing and mind for the whole day because and then as a journalist people expect you to know everything. Mm-hmm. Even though you deal in one particular area, somebody asks you a question, they expect you to know. So trying to get all that information and then at the end of the work, they're just trying to relax a little bit and still catch up with what's happening elsewhere. That's my go-to yeah. in terms of that humor. That's very interesting to yeah. find out. Man, Kobe, this has been interesting. Thanks a lot, guys. Again, this is Kobe Brooms. Anywhere we can find you on Instagram, whatever. Everything for me is at kbrooms246. At kbrooms246. Correct. So this has been Kobe. This is Zeitgeist. We out.